In the patients I treat, um, CINV is fairly prevalent. Uh, it does depend on the regimen that the patients are receiving, um, but it's something that as long as patients uh, comply with what we do, they, they, we can manage it fairly well. The primary issues that we see in meeting these patients' needs is number one, education of, of the patient in complying with the medications that we're administering to them, um, such as Zofran or Kytril. Um, the other thing is I don't know that nurses in particular know that much about another um, drug that's available to us, Sancuso, which is a transdermal uh, medication, um, and it does meet the needs of particular patients, especially your head and neck patients, some of your lung cancer patients who are getting radiation, um, patients who develop mucositis. So those are the patients that I think we sometimes don't always focus in on and, and are giving the oral medications to. Sometimes patients don't comply, um, either it's because they're not educated properly, they don't know that they should take the medications as indicated. Uh, so I think that's the biggest thing. And of course, when we have patients that are, are having significant nausea and vomiting, it can impact the chemotherapy. It can delay them, it can reduce their doses. So overall, it's, it's, it's not a benefit to their overall treatment plan. Um, sometimes financial issues are also a, a problem. Um, healthcare has changed greatly over the past few years, um, requiring certain um, steps that we have to take. So sometimes it's a little bit harder for us to get the actual medications we need up front um, to provide to these patients. I think the the benefit in the transdermal patch is you apply it before chemotherapy, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours before, and it maintains a steady state within the bloodstream, so it uh, keeps the patient um, pretty well controlled, um, as opposed to the oral agents that are either dosed every um, 6 to 12 hours, and again, those patients sort of are... are um, achieving peaks and valleys so it's not always the most beneficial for them in, in really controlling that because you know having that steady state really controls it much better. Better patient compliance um, keeps the patient on track with their chemotherapy. Uh, some patients are afraid to tell us the degree of nausea and vomiting they may be having in fear of us changing their therapy or discontinuing a therapy. Uh, so that's very, very important. Um, and again, I think if they're much more compliant with the regimens, whether it be an oral or the transdermal, overall they benefit the best because they're not having that nausea and vomiting associated with their chemo regimen. I've been using the Sancuso patch for a number of years now. Um, I think I was a little bit more selective in the beginning in using it mostly in my head and neck patients, again, because they're the ones that are having some I issues with, uh, with uh, swallowing, um, and I found it to be a great benefit to them. Um, I continue to use it in that population as well as all populations, and I think because of that, as, uh, that steady state within the... With, with, that, with the medication that patients are really not having the nausea and vomiting or having to take more medications. Um, you know, especially the older we become, we have polypharmacy. So it's, again, tr having another medication to treat another symptom or that we, we have for patients, that patients experience. And the key challenges in, in providing better supportive care is education. Um, I think the busier practices become, physicians, nurse practitioners, nurses don't always have the time to dedicate the, the amount of time needed to really educate patients sometimes on symptom management. Um, the other issue is financial, um, you know, with the economy being the way it is, people losing jobs, so forth, um, that can be a, a big, big challenge. And again, uh, insurance sometimes can be an issue as well. One of the key um, elements in maintaining patients' CINV is to um, keep them on track with their chemotherapy. Um, overall, they'll have a better quality of life. Um, they're not having to come into the office sometimes for IV hydration or IV medication um, administration. Um, and I think overall patients find that to be 
um, a more successful treatment um, as opposed to having to come in more frequently.